Hi, so I'm Sydney. This is my YouTube channel. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm 23 years old. Um, moving to New York City in August. Um, just got accepted to FIT in New York City. Let's see what else. Also, if I'm like taking these glasses on and off, I'm trying them for a brand and I'm trying, they're supposed to be like blue light glasses and sunglasses in one. So if I keep taking them on and off, I'm trying to like adjust myself. Okay. So a little bit about me. I went to Southeastern Louisiana University for college. Um, I just graduated this May with my bachelor's of arts in I think it's Bachelor's of Arts or Sciences. Bachelor's of Arts in Marketing. Um, I was in a couple clubs and organizations. Let's see. I went to high school in Archbishop Chappelle High School in Louisiana. Um, graduated in 2018. I graduated with my bachelor's in this May, 2023. And I like all things fashion. Um, traveling, lifestyle, wellness, all of that. So I've known I've been interested in fashion since about third grade, I think. Um, every day at recess, I would like bring my notebook out. I know it seems like so stupid. And while everybody was like playing at recess and stuff, I would be like drawing little dresses in my notebook. And that's just what I like to do. So I had like this entire notebook like filled with little dresses that I had designed myself. And I never really, it never really went anywhere, you know, cause being in Louisiana, it's, it doesn't seem realistic. Like I don't know a single person out here that is interested in fashion or if they are like, they're not gonna do anything with it. So that's kind of why I just kind of went to high school then went to college not really expecting to be able to work in fashion. It just seems so far-fetched, like, living out here. And if you tell the average person, they're kind of like, what? Like, why? Um, so, I want to say it was in high school. I kept, not, not as frequently, but, like, I had bought this little notebook with, like, models on it. And I would design dresses, like, on the models. And, again, it just seemed far-fetched, just being in Louisiana. Like, I didn't even know fashion school was a possibility. I never really toured any colleges because um, I had no one to go with. My parents never went to college, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I didn't really know like what I wanted to do. Um, I know a lot of these majors in Louisiana are like industrial and I'm like, ew. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do because at my college, like they really pushed sales like, and I did not want to do sales. Like if there was anything I wanted to do, it was social media or fashion and fashion was not even close to an option out there um because i took i took like i want to say four fashion classes at my college and then they discontinued the program and covid hit and then we had a hacker and the entire school was shut down and then when i originally wanted to switch to fashion merchandising at my college they're like well don't do that because we're gonna discontinue the program, but you can still take the minor courses against the minor. So I was doing that and that's when they discontinued those and didn't tell me anything. So I've just been hit with a lot of obstacles, but here we are. So one of the reasons I actually got into fashion and like actually started considering it as an option, like as a career path is one of my friends, her boyfriend works in the fashion industry and I was like, oh wow, like you're in Louisiana and you do that. And like I said, I don't know anyone in Louisiana who actually works in fashion because it just seems so like unreachable because there's really nothing like fashion out here. Um, I, I know that there's one like fashion week, New Orleans fashion week, and I tried to be like a model in the show and they're like, oh, you're way too short, like with five Y's. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so that was the only option that I really knew of to get involved in fashion in Louisiana. And after that, I'm kind of like, okay, well, maybe this, maybe this is just my like sign that I am not supposed to be in fashion. And when I saw that guy working in the fashion industry, I started thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's look into this. So we did. And then a little while later, 
Kate Bartlett on Instagram. She lives she lives in New York City. She goes she went to FIT and graduated already. Um, but that was kind of the first time that like I heard about FIT going to fashion school and over COVID I took an online fashion course and it was nice but it wasn't like the real thing like I didn't get to meet anyone and I just kind of wanted to go to fashion school for that reason. After I kind of like looked into Kate Bartlett and everything that she was doing out there like fashion school related the marketing for brands all of that I literally wanted to do that like I want to be that person I want to do work for brands I want to create content for brands um, I want to go to fashion school see what that's like and just get a taste of that life so that's where we were okay I realized I never mentioned this but I'm doing this vlog outside of, in my backyard so that's where we are um so back to FIT I originally started working on it Hmm. I want to say over the summer and I spent a couple months on it I was getting everyone's opinions on like how does this sound what do I do like I don't want you to tell me my essay looks good I want you to tell me what's wrong with it or what can I improve on and I did a whole lot of research um, on YouTube watching videos about other people who got in who got waitlisted etc and some of them were saying like well they didn't they got waitlisted because they didn't really address the questions they kind of went on about things that they were not asking so that was kind of how i learned like well this is what i need to talk about i can't be explaining everything again and again and again like what am i answering and what are the, what are they asking like why do i see myself here so i think really watching those youtube videos really helped me answer the questions better and getting that feedback from my friends and family were like it was it was either make or break like if you if you don't get the feedback you think your essay looks amazing and it probably does but getting feedback it can't do anything other than help so okay so like i said i spent a couple months on my essay for fit and i finally submitted it in august of 2022 and after i submitted it i sent all my paperwork and everything i had called the school and said like look like i'm i'm so excited i spent so long on my essay i want to make sure y'all have all of my paperwork because i know someone i watched the youtube video for a couple years ago or the video was a couple years ago from when they made it um i watched a video and she asked her counselor at her high school to send her transcript to fit and she it turns out she never did so she got waitlisted for that reason and i think she actually got in because she went to the school told her what happened and she did something i can't remember what it was but she did something and they're kind of like like okay like you're in and sort of the same thing happened to me it's a little bit different it's not my counselor's fault at all or anything like that so when i called them after i submitted my essay and all my paperwork they said yes you're good to go we have all your information and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I was kind of stalking the Instagram. I'm seeing everyone get into the school and my letter just did come. I told her, hey, I know y'all said my paperwork is all in, but I'm still not getting like my admission or my rejection letter. And I just kind of want to know. And she's like, oh, well, it will be in your email because I have been checking my mailbox every single day. And, and that really helped because I'm like, oh, so if I'm not home and I'm like, already having a bad day and I get my rejection it's like great um but that didn't happen so when I called the school around my graduation they were actually kind of like oh well we didn't even process your application because you're missing information and I'm like freaking out I'm like what do you mean like you told me you had everything like why would you tell me that if if you didn't have my paperwork like I would have sent it in same day and freaking out i was telling my boyfriend and he was trying to get on the phone with them to see what's going on and why they didn't tell me so they redirect me to some other guy and he didn't answer his phone so i leave him a voicemail my boyfriend leaves him a voicemail obviously i'm very concerned like very frustrated like i've been waiting several months for this this notice and it turns out i might not even have technically applied after paying all my fees and stuff to apply so my boyfriend comes over and as soon as he comes to my house i get a phone call and it's the guy and i'm like practically in tears i'm like look like what's going on like i don't understand like am i am i not even 
admitted do I even have a chance anymore and it's May like so if they didn't even look at my application I have no chance of getting in so he calls me back and I'm pretty emotional like I said and he's like look calm down we I'm looking at your essay it's really good um all you need to do is send in this piece of paper and you are in I'll send out your admission stuff today but you're good to go oh back up I never even explained what make what I was missing so I was they said I was missing in my freshman year of college I took like a developmental math and it fell under a different college it fell under North Shore College but I took it at my school so I didn't know that you had to send an additional transcript for them even though it was one class but that's what they didn't have and because of that they never really processed it so I was like crying on the phone I was like what like what did you just say and he's like you're in and I'm like I'm freaking out but anywho it was such a good day after that it was like a like a, a ride like a roller coaster because at first I'm like oh, okay you didn't look at my stuff that's great and then he's like you're in so I'm like freaking out but anywho that's what happened so in a few minutes I'm going to read my essay by the way I'm an FBM major fashion business management one year program since I already have my bachelor's I really looked into the programs and all of the the four-year and the two-year program for FBM is really just like prerequisites English um languages and stuff like that macro micro and I already took all that at Southeastern so I thought it would be best to just take the one-year program and maybe apply again next year for the fashion design one-year program because I'm really interested in design as well but we'll see I haven't really decided also little hair tip my hair felt so gross yesterday like I said I live in Louisiana so all the time I'm either like in the pool in the boat or in the sun trying to tan because it's so hot out here it's like so hot out here so if my face is red that's why um but I tried the Aveda someone gave me a couple Aveda like trial size products and one of them was like um it pulled all of the gross buildup out of your hair I forget what it's called it worked amazing like I've never tried anything that worked that good and then that was a, that was a couple weeks ago and I tried last night I tried the botanical repair replenishing mask I think it was called and that was just a, a trial size but I used all of it I didn't know if you're supposed to use all of it um but like I said I'm outside literally sweating so it probably looks gross now but this morning I woke up and I had so much volume and it just looks so good like I don't know if you can see but my hair feels so good right now after using it so okay so I'm about to read you my fit essay like I said um I'm an FBM major I want to say I don't really remember because it was several months ago that I wrote this essay but um I want to say the two questions were why should we have you and another question was I can't even remember I don't know you'd have to go look um but I'm gonna read you my essay um oh, I felt so good about this essay it's like it's a piece of my heart um okay so here's my essay for 2023 FBM that I got admitted to fit someone wise once said the dream is free hustle is sold separately hi my name is Sydney Bear I am the perfect candidate for fit because I am not afraid to work hard and I love to meet people Fashion is more than my dream. It is my passion, and I will never stop aiming for success. I enjoy styling outfits and being bold when everyone else is afraid to. I've been told by so many women that they could never work up the courage to wear some of the things I've worn, but why not? Be who you are meant to be. I'm here to inspire, but also to learn. I found a love for content creating on social media. I have really enjoyed working with brands for collaborations. I work so hard trying to juggle content creation, my job, and my hair care business along with several clubs such as Rush, Delight Ministries, Leadership, Social Media Ambassador, and so many more. But I wouldn't have it any other way because I have come so far and have seen so much growth in myself. I even took a course from LVMH and earned a certificate in the study of luxury fashion. What could be better than doing what you love and getting paid for it? I have wanted to work in fashion my entire life. 
As a little girl, I would spend recess designing dresses in my notebook and drawing with my Project Runway kit. I was obsessed. I wanted to express myself in a way I couldn't with words. I have never been happier than I am right now as I am writing my admissions essay and just knowing that this is what I was born to do. I want to show people what I am made of. This summer, I flew to New York City in 2022 and was just sitting in Central Park when I fell head over heels for this city. Then when I discovered Kate Bartlett, the FIT alum, my entire world flipped upside down. She taught me so much and through her, I was able to push myself out of my comfort zone and live life more freely without caring what other people think. I hope to help as many people as I can through my style and growing confidence. I am so thrilled to apply to the Fashion Business Management Program. FBM includes styling, planning, analytics, etc. And I believe there is no school that can teach me better than FIT. This major focuses on different areas, but my favorite is fashion buying. It consists of an understanding of forecasting trends for which I already feel acquainted. It is challenging to find people who speak the language of fashion, but through FIT, I know I will be able to blossom into the into the woman I was meant to be and make a name for myself. FIT is the best fashion school in the world and I would give anything to go there and learn up close. I have my heart set on fashion buying. I wanna open my own boutique in New York City one day. One reason I am so proud of myself is because I will always persevere. I will never back down when the going gets tough, only find a new route. I feel that through attending FIT, I can finally be heard and really get the chance to make a difference in the fashion industry. Through working with different brands for social media, I've learned so much in this line of work and feel that the classes at FIT would give me all the skills necessary to succeed. Anything is possible with hard work, dedication, and a positive outlook. And that was my admitted essay for FIT 2023. Also, when you apply to FIT, make sure you know like a little bit about the program, like look into it, look at the classes because they're not all fashion. Like they're not, all, like in fact, a lot of them, like it depends on your major. I don't really know, know too much about the other majors, um, but I know for FBM, Fashion Business Management, I know that the two year and four year program, a lot of them consist of prereqs. And I wasn't really sure about that, like when I first applied, because I was intending on doing the four-year or the two-year program. Um, but a lot of the courses are prereqs, and even though I do have my bachelor's, a lot of those will not transfer over because, first of all, a lot of them are not similar enough, but also there's no point in doing a four-year program if you have all of the prereqs already, you know? It, there'd be only, like, four classes for you to take. Um, but like I said, make sure you know a little bit about the courses and exactly, like, what you want to do and how are they going to help you. I'm so excited, I can't wait. I'm literally counting down the days. And when you go, when if you get into fit that is, when you go and try and find a roommate, it's so chaotic. And like when I scheduled my classes, I was actually freaking out. And for the longest time, I'm like, everyone already has a roommate. I reached out to like seven people, seven to 10 people actually, the first day of roommate selection. And it was maybe 10 o'clock. So I don't even know when it opened because there was no times. And I just remember I was frustrated, I was nervous. I didn't know anyone, I still don't know anyone really. Um, I met a couple people through roommate selection actually. And they all had roommates, but what they all told me is, yes, I have a roommate, but I would love to be friends. And I'm gonna hold on to those connections because honestly, like someone posted a video of the first day and there were so many people on Fitz campus. Like I remember I went last June to go tour the school. It was, it was still very close to COVID, so they wouldn't really let you tour, but I was able to go and see some of the campus. And from one of the videos that the girls posted on YouTube, there were so many people. And I know I'm gonna feel like really overwhelmed because like, like I said, I'm a first gen. Um, I don't really know anyone in fashion school. I don't really have experience. I've never had a fashion job really. I mean, except for like social media, I try and do content and such. Um, but like I'm going without experience. I'm going and no one I know has ever really moved like I'm about to move to New York City Everyone I know is just from home and they've never moved like I'm gonna move. So anywho You just got to remember Make friends a lot of them are not there to make friends I, I know everyone I know who's who's at fit or who has gone say that 
you just have to be yourself. Like, if you're going to fake who you are, then you're not going to get very far. And you just have to remember a lot of them, they know what they want to do. They are there for a reason. They don't care about you. But there are some people that are. And if you really want to be friends with someone, you just have to step out of your comfort zone. So, anywho, when you... When you go and apply for a roommate at FIT, I'm staying in the dorm for the first year because I don't know anyone. <laughs> Not close enough, that is. Um, but you can only request three roommates at a time, and you can either take them off and then request new people, or you can just wait until they decline your invitation. Um, but when I went and requested people, I would message them on Instagram if I could find them, that is. And I told them, like, hey, look, like, would you like to room together? This is the dorm I'm thinking of. And some of them said no because they already have roommates. Like a lot of them said they already had roommates. Um, but I found someone and I'm so happy. I feel like so good going into the semester now because we kind of talked on Instagram, me and my roommate. And we both happen to want the same dorm. So I'm so excited. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.